Hey guys, how's your chill kid I? So today we're doing everybody's favorite activity, civil work. And when I say civil work, I mean the dog is performing bite work without visible equipment on the decoy. Well, not really bite work, he's gonna be wearing a muzzle. And the, the, the whole concept and goal of civil work is to create a, a, a realistic training scenario for the dog, right? So the decoy isn't doing all the things that decoys normally do, have a whip, you know, moving like the decoys move. I'm gonna sit here passively. I'm just wearing my regular clothes that I wear here every day. The handler's gonna send the dog on me passive, and then we're gonna do some muzzle fighting on the ground, okay? So it's not going to be, um, you know, a, a lot of help for the dog. It's gonna be more of a, uh, a realistic scenario. We call this type of work civil work, okay? A lot of people, will do things like they'll just back tie the dog to a wall and they'll have all their stuff on, but they'll put the sleeve on the ground and say, okay, I'm doing civil work now. That's not really civil work. Real civil work is when you're actually preparing the dog for real life. And it's something that we do. I don't show always a lot of it because uh, usually by the time we get to that stage, the dog is you know, so close to leaving that you know, we don't spend too much time there because we don't generally need to. When you set the foundation properly, the dog is ready to go. Why don't you heal him around? So I'm going to also video with my camera. So the, the decoy's eye view, so to speak, on what it's like. And there's Boss. Okay, Boss is a dog from our breeding program. Uh, he's a 14-month-old puppy. Okay. Um, and he's just started uh, this type of work with us. And uh, he's a very good dog, very strong dog. I'm very happy with uh, the quality of Boss. And um, he is going to be muzzle punching me shortly. Good. Good. All right. So right from here, obviously, I'm just going to protect my face so I don't take a muzzle to the head. He is going to send the dog on me, and um, we are going to commence muzzle fighting. All right, guys, so you guys get the idea. Um, I think uh, I think that's enough for Bossy Boss today. Um, as you can see, he's, a, he's as real as a heart attack. My only critique for Boss is um, I'd like a little less barking, a little more biting. Uh, he's not an idiot, so he knows he's not legit biting me, but his, his muzzle punches are quite intense. Like I can feel them on my body where he was hitting me, you know, armpit, head, face arms you know he was he was he was basically going all over and what he's doing is he's searching for a feeling right uh, he's he's got a lot of prey but he's also got a lot of good reactive aggression as well he's a very well balanced dog so you will get a nice balance with a dog like him where you know he really it's not enough for him to just wrap you up and 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 kind of muzzle punch you he he really wants to dirty by you he wants to feel like he's hurting you and of course as a decoy it's your job to sell it so Obviously, he's having a great time because this is what he lives to do. Again, 14-month-old dog, guys. Imagine what he'd be like at two years old. So that's it for the muzzle work today, guys. Um, we are, I'm gonna post more videos. We've slowed down lately, you know, because of uh, some various things that we've been dealing with. And also, it's the holy month of fasting and I'm a man of God. So, you know, I've been taking it easy, but now we're coming to the end of that and it's time to start ramping things up so you guys will be seeing and hearing more from us. Anyways, if you guys kind of want to understand a little more about protection work, check out our online protection training course. All the foundation that we did in that course 
is the type of stuff that we did with Boss. So if you guys want to really, you know, learn how to develop dogs in, in protection work, if you want to learn how to train puppies, if you want to learn how to do obedience training, you know, take our online courses. Uh, you don't have to be with us or come and train with us in person if you're close enough. That would be great as well. So give it a check, shieldk9.ca and um, a full suite of complete online training courses. I hope this kind of helped you guys understand. You know, people get really obsessed with what equipment you're using. Like I do the vast majority of my work with Boss. I did the vast majority of my work with the sleeve. He's done some suit work, but we don't do like tons and tons of suit work, right? People get obsessed, oh, you're using a sleeve so the dog's not like super realistic. No, 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 all the good work, it's, it's about the emotion of the dog. It's not about what he's biting, right? You wanna see a dog in the correct emotion. And when you know what you're looking for, you can see a dog that's real as a heart attack biting a sleeve and you can see a dog that, that isn't really all about it, you know, just playing a big game of tug on, on, on a marshmallow suit, right? So it's not about equipment, it's about the emotion of the dog. And that's where we spend most of our time in protection training is building the correct emotion and then teaching the dog to channel that emotion into behavior. So that's what a lot of people leave out. They just think about things mechanically, okay? He's gotta bite this and then he's gotta bite that and then he's gotta bite this. I've seen plenty of dogs even, you know, that they bite the suit or they bite a muzzle or they bite a hidden sleeve and they're still not real. You know, in their mind, they're not, they know it's a game. They know, you know, they're playing make-believe. We want dogs that really, in their mind, you can hear in Boss's voice, right? That conflict, that emotion, like he really, for him, it's real, right? He really wishes like a couple of times, you know, he like caught me in the side of the head and stuff. It's like, he's trying to hurt me. That's his emotion, and that's what I want in the protection work. You know, we're not playing make-believe here. This is, this is for real, for real. And I, I wanna prepare the dogs for any kind of scenario that they're going to meet. So, again, if you're interested in our protection training program, check us out, shieldk9.ca, or if you're able to come train with us in person, come on down. If you have the right dog for the job, we are definitely willing to help you in your protection training journey.